Hey guys, Colin here. Back again after almost a year. I was looking recently at uh, my last video and I seen it was 11 months ago. Jeez, it's already been 11 months went by. So, what have I been doing for the past year almost? Well, let's see. I had COVID once. Uh, I went to work. I, we got laid off from work for about six weeks and then I went back to work and there's a few students over there. Uh, very few. Most of them are doing online, online courses still. Um, we made a move out here to the country as you can see and I decided to do my video outside. I thought it might be something different. Uh, we have a country house and we have a little barn and a place for the horses back here. Um, it's a lot of work out here besides being at my other job. I got to keep up on the yard work and five acres of uh, a little land here. Uh, we're not buying it. We're just renting this property from uh, Kansas University owns this property and it's kind of a uh, nature reserve or preserve I could say and um, uh, we're kind of assisting and sort of, sort of the caretaking of all this property. Um, like, I, And we have the horses back here. You might see some of them roaming around here and there. And anyway, um, I've been doing a lot of record collecting, but I thought I'd come on and show uh, what I have gotten uh, recently. Um, Right here I have Andre Bocelli. Uh, I never heard of this guy until uh, the last few months. Or I would say probably the past year I heard Connie mentioning him off and on and I always wondered who it was because I could hear her playing his music sometimes in the background on her phone or something. And I started listening and I started liking this guy. Now his most of his music is in Spanish, I believe. And I have no idea most of the time what he is saying. But um, I just kind of make make it up in my mind and I, I make up a little story in my mind of what's actually going on and uh, in his songs or his music. And I'm sure that a lot of us, well, probably all of us do that in our own way. You know, we, we get ourselves attached to a certain song that we like and uh, in, our, in our mind we, we attach it to something in our lives that might be going on or may have happened in the past or something. Um, how, how many of you do that when you're listening to your music? Even no matter who it is, the Rolling Stones or metal, death metal, whatever you listen to, country, jazz. I'm sure you're making up some kind of story as you go along with it. And I have another Andre Bocelli here. And I think this is one of his, this is one of his earlier albums. It's pretty good. Uh, I like Conte Partiro, I believe it's called, on this one. And I forgot to show a song on this. Uh, read a song off of this other one. Uh, there's one he does with uh, Ed Sheeran called Amo Saltanto K. And uh, Ed Sheeran just kind of, his voice just kind of shows up at the end of the song. And it's a pretty good song, and I, I, I really like this guy's music a lot. He's coming to Kansas City in October, and we really wanted to go, but with all the COVID and stuff still going on, you know, who knows if that's going to happen, because I've seen where they might be shutting down some of the stuff doing with traveling and all that. But we'll see. We'll see. And I actually went to the record store today, and I picked up some records here from... Uh, our record store here called the Love Garden Sounds in downtown here and this is the first records I've bought in a while mostly I've been kind of letting records go sort of uh, purging my uh, collection because I figure if something sat on the shelf for more than a year then um, I'm probably not going to play it anytime soon so I've been cutting down on my records quite a bit. Oh, here we have, uh, this is Storm behind me. He's an Appaloosa. And who else is back there? Who else is back there? Oh, <laughs> you're checking, checking, checking me out and I'm checking you out. That's Storm and Blaze back behind me. They're probably hungry checking me out. And over here is uh, 
huge deer, but you can't see him. He's kind of off camera over there. But back to the records. I hope there's not too much glare. Um, I picked that Ste Steppenwolf Monster. I always liked that song, Monster, and I never had this record. And I'm kind of wanting to see what else is on there besides Monster. Maybe I should take it out of the plastic cover here and kind of look at it better. And it's a gatefold. Yeah, there's a picture of these guys in there. If you can see it. Steppenwolf Monster. I imagine this came out. Does this have a, a year? Somewhere, I would say it probably came out the late 60s or early 70s. But, uh, I haven't looked that up yet. Set that down. I want it to blow away. It's a little windy out today. And I think I've never really had a video outside before. That's something new. Hi, guys. <laughs> and uh, here we have Hank Williams Jr. The pressure is on. Now I have to say, I have never really been a huge fan of Hank Williams Jr. But this has the two songs that I like by him on it. So I thought I would pick this country record up here. It's got uh, Country Boy Can Survive. And uh, All My Rowdy Friends Have Saddled Down. I'm sure you guys have all heard that before over and over on your, any of your classic country stations there. Um, and this came out in 1981, so that's been quite a few years ago. And that's kind of my records that I picked up there. I wish I had a better... Well, you kind of see them in the background there. Um, as you can tell, we're busy with these horses. Mostly Connie is. I kind of just watch <laughs> and look. And <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Lastly... Shall we see what our record collection, collecting uh, for future might be for the next few months? Just for fun. Uh, these are tarot cards for those of you that don't know, but I'm sure most of you have seen those psychic shops around your town with uh, someone inside claiming to be a psychic and they'll read your palm or read your future uh, look into the crystal ball and find out your deepest desires or things along those lines i don't know i think probably mostly a lot of women ask about love relationships and things like that but uh, here we're going to ask how is our record collecting going to go and let's say till the rest of this year. How is our record collecting going to go for the remainder of the year here? And that includes all of us here, anybody who's in, I hesitate to say, a community at the moment because, um, well, I'm not going to get into it. So let's just see what um, our record collecting future has in store for us and uh, you see me shuffling the cards here we're just going to take the top card and see what we get uh, <clears throat> and we have the queen of cups now apparently we are getting quite emotional about our records um but we really have a handle on that <laughs> don't we? Uh, we are in love with our records. We are in love with our music. Um, and we're, uh, but uh, I guess we're trying to get a grip on that still. Uh, I guess for me that, that's uh, kind of true because I am trying to uh, weed out a lot of records that I probably won't be listening to like I told you earlier. And so uh, the Queen of Cups, we're going to get emotional all emotional and cry around over our record collecting and this could also have to do with the what I've seen going on with some people recently uh, <laughs> let's just get a second card for clarification oh shoot the devil lust oh 
let lust and evil things. People always think something bad when they see the devil. When they see the devil, um, but it actually isn't. This could mean lust and bondage tied down to something, which is what I've just been talking about. Crazily enough, uh, you get too tied to your uh, physical things that you have in your home, uh, not just your records or your music. Um, but I think what this is saying is just don't get too uh, attached to things, material objects. Because, a lot, you know, the old saying, you're, you're not going to take all that stuff to your grave unless you're going to pile all that stuff in there with you in whatever way you're going to go. <laughs> yeah, the devil. Anyway, uh, I don't really know what else to say other than... Uh, I keep saying I'm going to try to be on here uh, more often, but um, I can't make any promises for that. So that's it. That's my record. Or my, my well, yeah, that's my records. I wanted to show you for today and kind of give you and let you know what I've been doing. Um, I know I haven't uh, been on here watching videos a lot and. Uh, I'm really bad about, I've been really bad about that recently. I, I do check out one or two now and then of some folks that um, I've watched over the years. I might not always say something in the comments, but I do pop in now and then just to see what's going on. And I hope you're all keeping it together. Uh, keep your record collection passionate and unlustful. I guess. <laughs> uh, calling over now. Uh, weirdos. Unite.